Welcome to KevinWeb22.com. This is actually my first video review uh, that I've ever done, and I'm going to do it on my uh, favorite folding knife. <clears throat> it is a Columbia River Knife and Tool M21 TAC 14 SFG. Um, it's also called a Cricut. Uh, some, people, some people say that for short. Um, that's what the logo looks like. Uh, it's a very sweet knife. It's got an aluminum frame. The uh, overall length of the knife is 9.25 inches. Uh, it's a uh, closed length is 5.375 inches and it weighs 5.7 ounces. Um, it's a Carson design. It's designed for military, law enforcement, and special forces. It's got a uh, 420 J2 liners, which is basically just the accessory metals that it uses uh, in the aluminum frame. It's got a four position clip system, which basically means you can move this clip on the knife uh, to fit this way and also both sides of the other, uh, the other side of the handle can be moved to any position. So however you like to carry it, uh, you can do it. It's got a tip up in pocket carry design, uh, which is basically the flip system that it uses can be uh, basically deployed out of pocket. What happens is uh, this right here will actually catch on your pocket as you're pulling it out and will flip the knife open. Uh, we'll deploy it as you're pulling the knife out of your pocket. So it's ready to go as soon as it comes out. Um, some of the other things to note about the knife is the uh, blade material is OS8. It's got a hardness of 58 to 59 uh, with a titanium nitrate black uh, tactical finish. It's got a triple point serration system, which is uh, actually a really nice design for the serration. It's not your typical uh, serrated system. And one of the uni very unique things about this is the auto locks safety system on the knife. You can see here there's a little red tab um, that actually keeps the knife from being able to close on your fingers like a lot of these uh, designs uh, do have done on other knives. So basically you can still do it with one hand, but the red lock has to go down and then the uh, safety has to be deployed off of the knife before it can go down. Like I said, you can open it with one hand and close it with one hand. Um, some of the things I like about this knife are that it's a big knife. It's not a little girly pocket knife. Uh, so if you're pulling it out uh, and you need to use it, it's going to be ready for you. It's also quick deployable, which is what I just talked about, which is very important in a tactical knife. Uh, you don't want to have to get out have to use both your hands to try and open the blade, fumble around. This is out of your pocket, flips open nice, very smooth. You can actually even adjust. There's a screw here. You can adjust the um, weight of the open so you can make it really loose or heavy depending on uh, what you're comfortable with. Um, it's a very durable knife. I've swam with it in the ocean quite a bit. Um, 10 or 12 times I take it in there with me. It's been on all my runs. Uh, it's been in cold weather, hot weather. I've done quite a bit of cutting with it. Um, it's a very durable knife. There's no rust on it for all the weather conditions that it's been in, uh, which I'm surprised with. I was actually expecting rust to uh, appear on it eventually. Uh, and There's no rust yet, and I've had it for, for quite a while. I actually bought two of these because I liked it so much. I uh, bought one, had it for a while, bought a backup just in case they ended up going away at some point. Uh, the blade sharpens really nicely. I haven't had to sharpen the serration yet, so I can't say much about that. But the uh, the blade sharpens fairly easily, and it's actually got a pretty nice uh, blade finish on it. I'll try and get some close-up shots for you guys. Uh, again, this knife is pretty used. Um, I've had it not quite a year yet, but it's been on camping trips. It's been to the beach. Um, Cold weather, hot weather, high humidity, rain, etc. Swimming pools. So, <clears throat> anyway, this knife again, it's uh, made by Columbia River. This is just a quick review. I don't want to give you a 20 minute one like a lot of them online. Um, I do recommend this knife and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Two more things to uh, mention about this are. Um, the auto locks that it uses also helps make this into more of a fixed blade. Um, even after a year's, almost a year of use, it has no move in it at all, the blade. Most pocket knives or folders, the blade gets real loose between the handle. This does not do that. Uh, it feels like a fixed blade. 
and also the Carson flippers, which are these. Uh, it's the the thing the flippers are what what's used to flip the knife open. Those also act as the uh, hilt for your hand, so it offers protection, which is another thing that uh, almost no pocket knife has. So. Um, like I said, sharpening this knife is fairly easy. Um, this is actually the only two things I use. Uh, it doesn't hone really well, which honing is just the the act of getting the blade to pretty much be razor sharp. Uh, this does its job though. This is just an AccuSharp um, knife uh, sharpener. What you do is you basically, uh, you'll feel some heavy uh, metal, metal coming off if the blade needs to be reshaped. Um, but pretty much all you do is run it across the blade like this. This one's pretty sharp already. Uh, once you're done doing that, you're just going to use this to get any burrs off the knife. And a burr is simply the edge going over one direction further than the other. And you'll be able to feel it um, if it does that. But uh, this system gets gets the knife as sharp as, you know, as it needs to be. Uh, the other systems you're going to pay anywhere from $80 to $120, even up to the $400 range if you buy a professional set. This costs 10 bucks. This costs like three bucks if you buy it separately. And uh, as you can see, it does uh, it does perfectly well. So anyway, that's that.